Here's 1909S VDB Lincoln Sand in MS64 red condition. A fantastic key date with alluring luster and great surface quality. The 1909S VDB Sand is highly sought after and rare coin in the field of numismatics. It refers to a Lincoln Sand that was minted in 1909 at the San Francisco Mint and bears the initials VDB of the coin's designer, the Victor David Brenner on the reverse side. The rarity of this coin stems from its limited mintage and historical significance as the first year of the issue for the Lincoln Sand. Due to its scarcity and popularity among collectors, the 1909 SVDB Sand often commands a high value in the coin market. This one was sold for $4,000. This is 1981S Susan B. Anthony dollar in PR70 deep cameo condition. As struck with brilliant, sharply contrasted surfaces. Exquisite gem for modern dollar coins collectors. It ended up selling for $1,273.05. Here is 1910 Lincoln Cent in MS67 red condition. This beautiful coin offers the technical quality and the eye appeal that Lincoln Cent collectors would want all of their coins to possess, but few of which actually do. Frosty surfaces are as bright and fresh as the day the coin emerged from the dice. The color is original and highly attractive. Both sides feature a blend of salmon pink, golden rose and medium orange shades. Fully struck and free of even the most trivial blemishes, it was sold for $24,000. This is 1952 D. Franklin half dollar in MS67 condition with full bell lines. Beautiful rainbow tones throughout. This piece is one of the prettiest toned Franklins showcased at David Lawrence. CSA approved for quality this true gem ended up selling for $17,000. This is 1941 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS68 condition with full steps. As perfect as specialists could hope to find with radiant mint lusters throughout and towering stripe for this issue, this super gem boasts incredible eye appeal with delicate iridescent toning of violet and rose when closely examined. The surfaces are the key factor here, nudging close to absolute perfection with just a few minute signs of handling. It was sold for $11,400, a wartime error penny 1944 D. Lincoln sent with D over S repunched mint mark, graded in mint state 66 plus red by PCGS. Scars and desirable Lincoln scent variety, this is a strong over mint mark. The secondary S is evident clearly protruding from the top of the D. CEC approved for quality. It was bargained for $13,500. This is 1965 Lincoln Cent in MS67 Plus red condition. The 1965P Lincoln Cent is very common especially since over 1.49 billion examples were struck. Only in MS66 condition is it somewhat scarce, yet still thousands of MS66 examples should still be out there. Keep an eye out for high-end MS66 examples since those are very scarce according to PCGS, especially since examples in MS67 condition are very difficult to find and truly scarce despite having a very large mintage. This elusive specimen was sold for $4,050 with buyer's fee. And here is 1971 Lincoln set with double die of verse graded in mint state 66 red by PCGS. This is an easy double die of verse to spot, although perhaps not for the obvious reasons. Doubling is certainly readily evident on the word liberty, the motting God we trust, and to a lesser extent, the date. More prominent, however, is the fact that the worst is struck from a slightly misaligned die with the result that it appears to be somewhat of center. Bursting with bright satiny pinkish rose luster, both sides are silky smooth, in sheen to preclude notice of even trivial distractions. Fully struck and sharp, an undeniably beautiful coin. It was sold for $3,120. Rare error coin 1972s Eisenhower dollar. Double struck, both strikes of center, graded as PR67 cameo by NGC. The first strike was approximately 40% of center toward 12 o'clock. The second strike is about 35% of center toward 1 o'clock. The date and the mint mark from the second strike are bold. The date and the mint mark from the first strike are faint, but visible due to north of the air second strike impression. Colorfully toned apple green, cream gray, and autumn brown. A dramatic error on a brown Ike. Proof 40% silver Eisenhower dollar. 
it was sold for $7,800. 1930, the wheat penny in MS66 Plus red condition, a charming gem that sports vivid rose red luster to smooth satin surfaces, fully struck as well and a delight to behold. The 1930D has a respectable mintage of 15,804,000 pieces and it's among the more readily obtainable Demer mint issues in early Lincoln Cent series. While there are enough mint state coins around to satisfy less discerning collectors, advanced Lincoln Cent specialists will be disappointed by the prevalence of poorly struck pieces among the survivors. This elusive specimen was sold for $23,500. 2002 P Indiana Quarter struck on a dime planchet graded in mint state 64 by PCGS. A wrong planchet error on a briefly produced type. The Philadelphia mint mark is bold and complete, though close to the edge. The Indy race car and the Washington bust are also complete. The date and E pluribus unum are off flam. As is most of United States of America, it was sold for $17,400. This is 1944 Jefferson Nickel in MS68 condition with full steps. This superb gem boasts incredible eye appeal with delicate iridescent toning of violet rose and lemon traces when closely examined with the toning on the devices while the surrounding fields are satiny silver white. The surfaces are key factor here, nudging close to an absolute perfection with just a few minute signs of handling. For identification there is a minute flick missing from the dome of Monticello. It was sold for $22,325. According to NGC, despite a fairly substantial mintage, 1925s cents of desirable quality are quite scarce. Warning examples are quite common from widespread hoarding during 1930s and 50s, and mint state pieces of so so quality are likewise available. Fully red gems are very rare and tend to be much darker in shades and Philadelphia mint scents. This issue is perhaps not quite as hard to find with decent strike as its Demer mint cousin, but the typical 1925 ascent is mushy on one or both sides. The dies were used way too long and may have been improperly hardened as well, but the result was coins having blurry and grossly distorted features. This specimen fetched the sum of $4920 and this is 1932 D. Washington Quarter in MS66 condition. Magnificent example of this popular key date. Satiny surfaces display lovely original luster and crisply struck gem details. Coin features excellent eye appeal. Tied with just one another example at PCGS for the finest known. It was sold for $64,500. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on the fascinating world of numismatics. See you in the next episode.